Introducing Fred, or it could be called Freddy, but I call him Fred. This is Fred. This is my baby boy, Fred, and I am getting him changed into his pajamas. Right now, he has his cute flying get-up on. I'm going to take these fancy shoes off him. <laughs> these shoes are the same type of shoes that my son tends to like to wear. I don't want to be in the camera when I'm doing this, but... These are the shoes that my son likes to wear, or boots, or whatever you want to call it. You think you can get him to wear a pair of sneakers, even in the summer months? Nope. Anywho, I think they're so cute, and they actually came from T New. <laughs> and I don't have a diaper for this big old boy. I don't have a diaper that fits him. So... Oh, we'll just, should we leave this on? Don't know. We'll take it off. Yeah, I don't have a diaper that fits him. I need to get big diapers, don't we, Freddy? Freddy's hair is a sight to be seen. It's just all over the place. Poor Freddy boy. Your hair is a mess. My goodness, Freddy. He's just milk drunk here. He's just... Loving his milk so much. <laughs> He's loving his milk so much. He's just knocked in it, but he's so tired. He doesn't even recognize that I'm trying to get him changed. So, thank God for miracles that he doesn't use the bathroom. Because, you know... This would be considered a bad mama. Look at him. I stuffed him really good. I wanted him to have a big old belly. And you know, I'm not a graceful, graceful dresser. If you want to watch a video where someone takes such beautiful care in dressing their dolls, and it's so kind, and I just love every minute of it, go watch Reborn Taddy. They just love it. They do such a great job dressing the babies. Okay, my Freddy buddy. Let's move your boot wear over there. Shift you this way. Oh my gosh, isn't he a cutie patootie? He's so cute. Now, I gotta cut this. No, nope. yeah, I do put the scissors here. This is part of the get up that Trevor ended up getting when he went to Montreal. there for now oh my gosh this is so cute i don't know if these are pajamas or what it makes me think that they are pajamas because of the way the bottoms and the legs are i'll show you however yeah the bottoms of the legs are like this so that's why it makes me think they're pajamas but they're probably not i don't know <laughs> What size are these? I know they visually look like they're going to fit Fred pretty good. But we'll see. Get in there, Freddy, old pal. <laughs> I like the name Fred. I'm going to add more hair to Fred. He doesn't have enough hair, in my opinion. Oh, gosh. I've made this boy heavy. Oh, my gosh. He's a heavy boy. <laughs> Look how lazy he is. This is 6 to 12 months. This is fitting him really good. So the other outfit I had on him, I think, was 3 to 5 months. No, it was 6 months. 6 months. And this is 6 to 12. So this is fitting him good. He's a little sailor. And I didn't put magnets in him because I don't utilize them. If I'm keeping the baby for myself, I'm not going to put magnets in them. I don't utilize them. My goodness, buddy. you got to do something with this hair. It's fly away. It's fly away. 
Oh my gosh. You know what? I had to join the train with everybody else. I had to get myself a jar, baby. You know, a pickle jar, baby. And here he is. And I named him Fred, and I think he's the sweetest, sweetest little boy. He has a little bit of milk in his mouth. Not real milk, but milk look-alike. I think he looks so sweet. I'm happy this outfit fits him. He's going to go to bed good. He's going to sleep really good tonight. And, well, he's already asleep, you know. He's the type of baby that it doesn't take long to go to sleep for him. Oh my gosh. I got to do something more. I need more hair and I need to style it more. I need to cut it and need to do something. And, boy, look, well, I was going to give him a blanket, but you know what? Blankets are just, they're just hazards, I think, if you have a blanket on a doll, on a baby. But look at him. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. And he's got a big bumbo. And he doesn't even have a diaper. I just stuffed him, stuffed him. Because I love him. He's so cute. I hope you guys all had a fantastic day. It's been beautiful here today. I um, got some boxes sent off. Actually, one, two, three, four babies are gone in the mail. And um, I'm going to finish um, a girl version of this sweet man and have her go out in the mail shortly. And um, if you want to take up me up on my deal that I have, you can check out my website or contact me. It's a pretty simple deal. It's pretty, I think it's a pretty good deal, actually. You buy a kit. You buy a kit of the same for moi. You send them both to me. If you want hair on the baby, you send the hair that you want. You send it to me, and I will root your baby, and I will paint your baby and send it back to you. Is the baby going to have a big box opening? No. No. Is the baby's shipping going to cost you money? Yes. Unless you don't want me even to stuff the baby. I can paint the limbs and the head and send the baby like that to you and you'll save on shipping. It's an idea for you. Or you can have me do that. And I think I got on my website there. I think it's $40 for, for um, stuffing, filling the baby and you get a new outfit and a blanket and a magnetic pacifier magnet in the baby's head and like for a magnet if you want that done i think it's there forty dollars and then the shipping i have down there fifty bucks for shipping but you know what if it's less or more we'll look at that but I won't know that till I put your address in. I will tell you, I just, I have a great, I use Net Parcel, it's called, online. And um, it's through um, our business number. And because uh, I have a business number and stuff that we utilize for selling online. I utilize that. Gives lower shipping. Like I sent out... A box with two babies it was 30 some dollars two separate boxes they were 30 some dollars and they only had one baby each in them so you know you can see it the, the shipping's not necessarily 50 I put that down as a blanketed thing so yeah so there's the deal buy a kit so basically you're paying for your kit and my kit that's what you're paying for I root the baby I root the baby. I paint the baby. Root the doll if you want. You have to pay for hair for me and you. If there's eyeballs, you got to pay for eyeballs for me and you. I don't care where the kit comes from. Honestly, I don't care. If you'd like the doll weighted, you know, stuffed and magnet and all that and put together with a blanket, I'll do all that for 40 bucks. Does it sound complicated? Well, if you're a little confused, you can reach out and talk to me. But I am having a great time <laughs> making some babies. I um, soon am going to be doing a beautiful, beautiful, fun kit that's going to be um, 
an elf baby, an elf baby, somebody go, yeah, an elf baby. So, um, so yeah, guys, it is Friday. It is Friday. No, it's not. I keep saying it's Friday. It's not Friday. Today, I actually thought we were painting with the girls, but Trevor reminded me it's not Friday. It's Thursday. So happy dress up Thursday, folks. I thought I missed it, but I didn't. And I think it was Halloween. I'm not sure. But my little Freddy, Fred, is in his little sailor PJs, and that is what he's wearing. So have a fantastic day, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. And don't forget, today is the first day of the rest of your life. What are you going to do? But what are you going to do? Is there something you think that you need to change in your life? Is there something that's been bugging you day after day after day? Just make a change. You can change your mind. You always have a choice. Do, a ha do you have a choice to make sure? Don't be so scared to make it because you can change it later. I know some choices and some changes are big, maze of major events. And I was scared to make decisions because I thought it was almost permanent. But you can always change your mind. You can always make a choice. Remember, you have a choice. Always. You have a choice how it's going to be today for you, how tomorrow is going to look. And you know what? You can't control life, but you can control or make choices. You can make different choices. So guys out there, make good choices. <laughs> Have a great fri Friday. Here I go again. Have a great Thursday. Looking forward to the weekend with, um, with you guys and, um, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my channel. Bye, everyone.